Well, hello there. My name is HW, and thank you so much for watching Tone Dougie TV. You probably thought you were on the wrong channel because there was no floral for a minute. Don't worry, it's back. It's back. It's back because I want to tell you about a pack I'm super excited about. It is the 69 Band Verb Pack, Kemper Profile Pack. It's from Tone Junkie. It's awesome. I previously did a video where I pointed out why I have so many favorite amps and why this amp is one of my favorite amps and why this amp is near and dear to my heart. And I have to tell you something. I shot the profiles, then made that, that video about how much I love this amp. But I always take time between shooting profiles and then going back and making any changes and adjustments of the profiles. I and, I, and I remembered something and now it makes sense. I forgot, I said in that last video how it has sound man who had told me this is one of the best sounding amps he had ever like mic'd up and heard live. And I realized, yes, the thing about this big cab is that I feel like even though it sounds really cool and big in the room, that low bass actually records better than it sounds. Like, the amount of low end you get in the recording is really great, more so than even the bellowiness that you get in real life. So that, that character translates to microphones really well. And that's sort of the story of this pack. I am so thrilled how this thing came out. If you think a twin is like too clean and you want a little more juice, ju like you look for that pedal that's just gonna juicy up your cleans, get to that edge of breakup, there's every shade of Fender American dirt that's just gonna sound good in this pack. I just wanna take it, take you through on a couple of these, take you through some of my thought processes with, with shooting this thing. I shot this thing with a Royer 121 and a, an SM545. I really thought the extra mid-range in the 545 really helped it come out. Um, because we had all this extra low end, I didn't think the fat head was a good fit because we have this lowness. We didn't need really help there. And I feel like the silver face sound is a bright sound. So let's get right into it. Um, we put some pedals in here and there's a bunch of directs, but check it out. Here's the end profiles. And I just want you to hear how this sounds. I'm on my JM Pro. We'll just use this as the reference guitar for the day. The demo had a whole bunch of other guitars. I might pick up another guitar. I'm not sure. 69 band verb N2. Check it out. Thick, full, deep, round, round bass. You hear that? Can he you can hear that cab. Let me take off this delay. That sounds like the amp. I'm using a Kemper cab off, off stage or off uh, shot here, off screen, to listen to myself in the room, but you're hearing the direct audio from the Kemper. I'm not kidding. Because I have the cab next to this amp, I would believe this amp is on. Okay, N, warm, warm, you hear that low end? All right, now let's check out like some of the brighter profiles in the pack and we'll up the gain slightly. Here's uh, NB3 plus, so we get a little more brights, um, a little more, and a little bit more gain. Now, I'm gonna be able to put this on my bridge pickup. And I'm gonna get to a decent sort of indie rock, 70s Fendery rock tone. Again, not a basement, not full on classic rock like, whoa, is that a Marshall? Cause you throw a 65, you throw a this year, a 67, or sorry, 69 basement through a, um, uh, through a, uh, uh, like a Marshall 412, you can convince yourself that's a Marshall. It won't get as going, the upper mids are different, but you go, whoa, what is that? Fender, but basements are like that. This guy's a little more reserved. So we get this sort of uh, chokier, raspier, just like it sounds like an amp that's really loud rather than an amp that's really dirty. It 
it's that 70s Fender Crunch that I love. I say 70s because it's sort of the sound that the Blackface came into. This is a 60s amp, but it that sound, that brighter sort of tone really became something. Again, you add um, a little like a mid-range to that and you really, you got to, you throw that in the pot, churn it all up, put the heat on, you got a stew going. <laughs> That is the perfect, to me, amount of mid-range that I want in that sound from this. Like, listen to this. Go over, you get a little clawny action. Beautiful. Now, everybody loves a, vib a vibrato channel, right? So, let's just go right to Vibrato channel VB2, because this is one of my favorite cleans in the pack. Listen to this. Big bass. big fat clean sound you got to hear this with uh, with the strat check it out you throw a little delay on there whoo get ready get ready My word, that is a beautiful sound. You can, of course, get these going, and we go to like three plus here. We're gonna have a little clon action. You know, you throw that on the bridge here. You get this going. You know what that would sound really good with? Is a good sound but if that's a little bright and it might be that'll really get through a mix though you come back take that bright switch off v3 we still got the brighter airier vibrato channel but now we're talking about three add a little clon in there for our clone in there for uh for the plus uh, a little more mid-range and you got this <laughs> That's rock and roll tone. That is that is late 70s, I mean late 60s, early 70s Fender rock tone. Marshall ain't the only game in town. These, these are a lot of shades of overdriven big amp with that American flavor to it. And it is exciting because honestly, 
This is a little bit unique for us. We haven't really captured this palette yet. Uh, I can't actually think of a boutique amp or something that really kind of borrows from this color palette. It is pretty unique. Um, it's the, I mean, obviously fenders are going to be fenders, but this is different than a twin. This is different than um, a, the twin, like the deluxe. The deluxe is more mid-range, smaller, one speaker, like, you know, it's different. It doesn't have that low end. The twin is a lot fuller and there is fullness and low end, but the twin is fat in a way that isn't as bellowy on the low end. And the twin also sounds like a hefty amp. Whereas this doesn't sound as hefty. This is giving up the goods of, of this interesting breakup. And you really hear this smaller transformer. Even our low men pack is more rock and roll in a traditional like, yeah, rock and less Paul sense. But this thing has got so many colors and I get excited about amps like this because they're just their own thing. You cannot ask this thing to be the most versatile amp in the world because it has a voice. And I, kind, I think that's what I like about it. It's got a voice. It sounds like itself. It doesn't really sound like the other stuff. Um, and, and it's not like, hey, I'm super versatile. I can do a million things. No, no, no. A baseman will give you, wait, is that a Marshall? And, uh, ooh, what a beautiful clean fender. But this is bringing something else to the table. It's bringing all these shades in between that get glossed over with a baseman. You know, it's sort of a more narrow bandwidth of tone but being able to dial everything in right there is really useful for the fine tuning and really finding the fine stuff. And I just think this thing has a great voice. I'm in love with this cab. I'm in love with this cab and what it does in the low end. So you're probably gonna see some more stuff through this cab, but I also am looking at some other cabs. I got a couple 15 inch JBLs coming in a cab, not quite as large as this, but I really wanna find a basement cab with 15s in it in this as large. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Who knows, who knows? Uh, there's a lot of lot of amps out there in the world. HW is going to profile them all. Going to profile them all. Anyway, this has been an inside look at the new uh, 69 Banverb pack. It's available right now. Go pick it up. And you guys, 40% off in the Tone Junkie store. It's a stay home sale. I consider it, I, I believe I have a duty. I believe I have a duty to uh, keep you entertained as I can on YouTube and help all of the content creators that are just helping people, you know, not, uh, I, I think being bored uh, starts to get close to being lonely and entertaining negative thoughts. And I just think that's bad for everyone. So I want to keep people entertained and excited about something. I hope you're excited about this pack. It's 40% off. I appreciate all the support right now because um, I'm trying to keep this 40% off sale going like maybe as long as we're home. I don't know how long that's going to be, but we'll see. 69 band verb. This has been HW. Thank you so much for watching Tone Junkie TV. Like, subscribe if you get anything out of the channel. Really appreciate it. HW, out.